Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the evacuation zones in Sarasota County? In Sarasota County, evacuation zones are designated to help residents prepare and respond to hurricane threats. These zones are color-coded and labeled from A to E, each indicating a different level of vulnerability to storm surge and flooding. Zone designations. Zone A, this is the most vulnerable zone, typically the first to be evacuated. It includes areas most prone to storm surge flooding. Zone B, this zone is also highly vulnerable and often included in early evacuation orders. Zone C, this zone is subject to significant storm surge and is often evacuated in more severe hurricane scenarios. Zone D, this zone includes areas that may experience moderate storm surge and are evacuated in more serious storm situations. Zone E, this is the least vulnerable zone but can still be ordered to evacuate in extreme cases. Who must evacuate? All residents living in mobile homes, manufactured homes, RVs, or travel trailers must evacuate when any level of evacuation is issued, regardless of their zone. Evacuation Procedures To determine your evacuation zone, you can use the interactive Null Know Your Level Null map provided by Sarasota County Emergency Services. Simply enter your address to find your zone and other relevant information. If you are in an ordered evacuation zone, you should gather your family, pets, and emergency supplies, secure your home, and leave immediately. Failure to obey a mandatory evacuation order is a violation of state and local laws. Shelter information. If you need to evacuate, you have several options. Stay with friends or family outside the evacuation zone, go to a hotel or motel, or use public shelters. Sarasota County has 20 emergency shelters available on an as-needed basis. Make sure to verify the shelter is open before heading there. Additional considerations. Storm surge is a significant threat and areas designated in the colored zones are vulnerable to this type of flooding. Understanding your zone helps you prepare for and respond to evacuation orders. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.